Welcome back everybody, this is King AKJK from In Game We Trust, and today, it's better late than never, we're going to do the demon weapon. Now, basic quick oversight of this, Abner Thorn, the man behind us right there, he's a member of the Imperial Council, and he is trying to end the war by finding this ancient weapon known as the demon weapon. He bought these wrath stones from the woman next to him there. These wrath stones are supposed to help him find it. But there's no way to base any direction off this stone. We have to find these Kuziji lore masters who will tell him the places to go to find the locations. Now, unbeknownst to him, his half sister, Iraxia, is also looking for this weapon. And she's been using him to find it without him knowing. He's basically being played. At the very end, it's a race to get to the weapon before she does. Now, Sarge's mission. He'll be in base of the Mages Guild or the Town Hall areas of your starting alliance. I'm an orc, but I'm also part of the Dominion still. So, if you don't know where to go, you go to the Crown Store, and you go to the Quest Orders, and you go get the, sermon, the summons from Abathorn. For me. Okay, and basically go to your inventory, and there it is. And once you start it, it tells you where, where he is, that on the bomb down there. And once you start it, it tells you exactly where he is, right there. It'll give you the, you know, the quest marker. So, it's a lot of dialogue, it's a lot of running around, but he'll luckily, he'll, he'll send you to most of the places with a portal. This is the first time you gotta do your own leg work. But it's not too bad. I'm not gonna stick through all the dialogue. I see my son We're just gonna, you. you know, push yeah. through this. But it is a good story dialogue mission line, so I, I would listen to it when we get a chance. Okay. So basically, again, like all of these star missions, th these prelog missions, we've got to go to B1, and B1 is here on Oridon. It's right up here. Luckily, I have a uh, way shrine unlocked near it. If you don't have a way shrine unlocked near it, you're gonna have to do some traveling. I was like, if you just spawn here in Oradon, you can just take this road here. Just follow it all up. There's no resistance. It's pretty much basically a peaceful road. And to get it here. Here it gets you get some combat and here because these two towns are overtaken already by Veiled Herons and the uh, Sea Elves. But this is where you gotta be. So basically all up here is pretty calm. Alright. But I got a way shrine unlocked, so I'm gonna go to that way shrine and I'll meet you there. It's not too hard. It's a long ride, that's all it is. There's nothing really in your way, enemy-wise. It's a long ride. I mean, if you don't have any of these way shrines unlocked closer, I mean, it's a long haul, but... That's gonna be the hardest part of this mission, besides the puzzles, but I'll make them very easy, so don't worry about that. And the first part of this, no puzzles yet, you just gotta find these mushrooms for this Khajiiti lore master. He enjoys his mushrooms, and he'll, um, help you if you give him some.
Yeah, that was uh, B1. That was the boss location, Sky Shard location, and um, the location of the mushrooms, which luckily are pointed out in the map. But now the next hardest part is getting to this lore master. From here, you have to go to the top of the islands up here to talk to him. So you're basically at the very peak of the island here. Alright, so we're going to speed through real fast and get there. We're going to forsake all other missions and mission starters and other things and just go away for the mission because I want to get those puzzles. They're the hardest part. Um, just follow my path I went by, and you'll run into nothing. Nothing there will, will kill you, um, will, will, will try to kill you. There are some spots here along this trail. There's bats and wolves up here in the woods when you get up here. There's Daedra in here, which can be pretty, which can be pretty you know, much of a pain in the butt. But just follow this path along here, and I cut through here, and you're right there. It's not too bad. All right. Walker. Good we're gonna just blow through this because it's a lot of dialogue and um, it's good though it's a good mission so listen to it when you do it yourself but we're on our big trip here we got there's four different runes three of them are Iliad one is Hajiti that's gonna show us where this demon weapon is I see you made it to the old law masters Gratwood, Malabal Tor, and Reaper's March. See, basically all in the Dominion. This portal will transport. We're going to Gratwood first. I'll catch up with you after I pay my respects to old grandfather. Okay. Okay. But first, we gotta talk to the um, the Kajidi Moonsinger. There are books here that tell you the story. Myself, foul demon. I shall gather a crush with a company of heroes. Starting with the Altman, Nurarian the Perfect, who communes among the buried roots of the alien worms. These See, are the words. What he just said there was the clue to the first place. It's the it's the Iliad room you go to. This one recognizes a lover of smoke. Yeah. Grandfather in the time before. No. A different kind of Okay. Go back to Tharn. What an interesting story. If only I could shake Yes, the triangulant. The location was spelled out in the Moonsinger's story. An alien ruin located here in Gradwood. Somewhere in Wormroot Depths, the ancient Khajiit hid a reference point that will get us one step closer to finding the weapon. Alright, along all this, he's got a um Thorn's got someone watching him, and he doesn't know who it is, or um, what they're trying to do. You'll learn later on in the mission what that's all about, but it's not really important right now. Okay, worm, worm root depths, simple dungeon, round the corner, and there is the entrance to the Khajiit temple, or lair, for some reason there's a Khajiit ruin inside of an Iliad ruin, but um, I'll show you where the, way shrine, where the uh, Sky Shard and Boss are in this too.
Okay, this is the first puzzle we have in this mission here. We are in Gartwood, in Wormroot Depths. Here's Gartwood. Okay, and here it is on the map, very back of the dungeon. Unfortunately, I have to go all the way around because this door is locked from the front side. Let's do all the way around. Okay, and here it is. A Khajiit ruin, the bomb of an Iliad ruin. Very interesting in my view, but who am I a judge? The orcs are really fast, so I like the orc. I mean, he's just flying through I'm not this. Sure what I expected, but it certainly wasn't this. Okay. Now, all these puzzles have to do with the alignment of the moons. Alright, so that's something to think the about right Vigiti now. Really want us to work to uncover the now, they've given us a clue here. Kazuri and the full moons. Alright. When Joan and Jode, in their fullness, face the empty sky, Kinzuri will see the path to knowledge. These are the words, and the words are true. Okay. Examine the moons on each statue. So the full moons. Okay. That's basically telling you exactly what we want to do, what you want here. There's, I think, four statues in each one, each each puzzle, and each statue has a phase of the moon. So there's, see, there's the. There's the, um, the dark moon, I guess you want to say. Alright. There's a half moon. A full moon. Where's the other moon? Fascinating. It must have something to do with the direction of the light. Only three here? Okay, well, regardless, basically, the new moon, the new moon, full moons. So that's what you want. You want the full moons. The, the bright one, which is, let me get out first person. The first one to the, to, to the left. So when you come over this bridge, first one to the left. That's the one you want. And then you want to skip the half moon and go right to the other moon. The, full moons and the, new moons. the third one. And that will open the triangular. Why don't you see what's in the chest before we head? Or right ahead of you. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Now he's gonna bring you to the next town which is um Mabla Tor, the next next area. The Bendari training post. And that is Black Vine Ruins you're going to next. Okay, here we are outside the Bendari training post in Mabla Tor. And we gotta go talk to the next lore master. Next moon singer. Only the brave travel these roads now. Get the book. <clears throat> as soon as this one rescues Flynn Demon Hunter from the alien lair of creeping The less part of the story is where they give away the location. Ms. Bina hopes that the Lord Master, in the time before time, ominous Zaris. They are. You know the legend of Kunzar. Of course. Only the yes, and with brave. Okay, so we're going to Black Vine Ruins, which is right outside the city, right here. Okay, we are inside the ruin now. Again, it's the back of the area, the back of the ruin. And we can't go this way because it's locked on our side. But it's not as bad as it looks. Basically, just follow this way down here. This is where the sky shard is. The boss is in here. Uh, it's not too bad. Alright. Again, we're forsaking all our missions, so skip them.
Alright, here we are in Black Vine Ruins in Malabotor, right outside of the Bandora Trading Post, the second ruin you gotta go to. And here is the Kazidi Ruin inside the Ilya Ruin. I can't get on the run. Here we are. Ah, another prism puzzle. At least the ancient Khajiiti were consistent. Okay, here it is. Examine Sometimes story. knowledge can only be found in the dark. The fading moon gives way to the empty sky. Okay, fading moon, empty sky. So basically, you want half moon and the dark moon. If that makes any sense. So, when you walk into the ruin, here's the front. Go to the left. Jump up here. Jump, I said. Please jump. There we are. And this is the one you want right here. This moon. There's a fading moon. Half moon, but it's a fading moon. You can hit it, please. There we are. Okay, so you want that one. Then you want the blackened out moon, which will be the... This one? Right here. Yep, this one. The one on top of the little platform here. It says all blackened out. That one. And that will open the triangulate. Adequately done. Now, collect the triangulant and let's be on our way. Okay. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Now we're going to Re Reaper's March now. Rokohala. Alright, here we are in Rokohala and Reaper's March here. And I caught the last moon singer all the way down here. You know, the crazy thing is my orc is faster than my, the horse right now. He, uh, the wolf he rides right now. What happened? Okay. Raid right here. When everything loads in, hopefully. Wow. You, know, you think of what, how old this game is, it would be, you know, wouldn't have these problems that we have now. Where's that Mathorn? He's here somewhere. I thought he was over here. Oh, there he is, over here. I see. Yep. Satari is an old grandfather in the time before. Patience. Then Kunzari. Okay. Um, there you are. This new moon singer shows a modicum of promise. Oh yes. Still do. Okay, the next one's in Joe's Light, which um is the only Kazidi ruin, you know, well the last one that we gotta go to. Um It's not real far away, but it's a little bit of pain if you're not in the area. Um I wanted this to be a werewolf, so I got here early and had all the way shrines marked out which werewolves spawn near. And uh, so I can spawn right here at Dune and get there very easily. Um, it's rough because these are all mountains here. But what you can do is go out this way. And it's a little, there's a pass right between here. See this pass? That will lead you out right here. And then you can ride all the way up to here. Um, but even though it looks close, it's a pain in the butt because there's mountains all over here. Mountains and, and rock size and all that stuff. If you miss this one, there is another one up here somewhere. I think this one is it right here, I think. There's a pass right in here somewhere you can go through. But it's right in here. So let's go right through there and get to go. Me, I'm going to teleport. It's a lot easier. Sorry, I'm being lazy. And time constraints, too. Okay. I'll see you, see you there. <clears throat>
but she, there's a lot more to her. So once you get to the whole storyline elsewhere, you'll see who she really is. Please. Um, Euraxia. I do not think they get along. Okay. Okay, here we are in Joe's Light. Uh, you can go this way, which is the Sky Shard and the location of the other um, temple. So we might do that. We might, excuse me, must might go this way and skip out all this. This here is the boss location, right here. And that's what gives that door to fake you out where you just store, you can go right down back out to the opening. But here's the Sky Shard over here. So I might do that. Gotta talk to Abner Thorne first. I'm beginning to question my own Khajiit. My half sister, destroy my one chance to stop the Three Banners War. Never. Don't tell me you agree with us. That's fear talking. We can end a terror. Okay. See, now it's all there. Now it's showing you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go that way. It's not a hard dungeon, it's just, it's just a long loop around, and I can get to the main part right here much easier. And that's really all you're worried about, the Sky Shard and the and the uh, location of the uh, door and the puzzle. You'll have time to uh, go through that crap later on of doing the dungeons. Please, why are we lagging? There we are. Sky Shard right here. Okay. Right in this room. And then here is a door to go into the secret chamber. Unfortunately, it's not the last puzzle, but it's the last puzzle here in the, the ruins, at least. With luck, we'll gather the last triangle to be done with ancient ruins. Okay. Now this one's the hardest one I thought. This one got me tricked for a second. Kunzari, when Kunzari, blank, mirrored, full blank, saw blank, the lions glared blank, other, across, blank sky. Okay, um, it's like you're looking at the, um, you know, the Warren report. It's all blurred out. So, basically what we're going to have to do is just figure out the blanks. And, um... I basically figure mirroring. So if you come up to the top here, you'll see there's two rows of statues. One here on the on my on my left, and one on my right here, right? Mm. So mirrored. So words have been chipped away. We gotta figure out maybe which one, which statues mirror each other, right? So here, it's a, a half moon, and there's a um, which one? It's the dark moon over there. So that's not mirroring each other. This one here is a full moon. That's a full moon over there. That's mirroring. Okay, and then test my theory further. Dark moon. Sliver moon. So, this is the only one that mirrors each other. Here, the second one. The full moon. See, if you look over there, same exact one. So, if you click this one, the second one, the one in the middle, and then go to the other side and do the same thing, click the one in the middle, it should open. Unless something else changed. As I did the first time. There we are. Now grab the final triangle and let's return to my camp. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. So basically now we're going to go to this camp. Please move. Oh, there we are. All right. Now we're back at this camp in Gartwood here. I was wondering what they're going to use this for eventually. Remember when I first did this game years, you know, years ago now, and this little area here with the fences and all, and this empty, basically empty mine shafts. I was wondering what this was going to be. I don't know if they had this all in mind all along to use this as a camp, or this happened to work out for them. Who knows, but, uh... And there's the raft stone right there. Alright, let's finish this off. With your assistance, we gather the Halls of Colossus. Honestly, I don't give a and yes, she's going to come with us, the Khajiit woman that's been following us. Without my assistance, you will never survive that Okay, place. yep, yeah, 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 let's go, come on, come on. Away with you, cat. It 
falls upon me to end this accursed war. So you can declare yourself Emperor? I think not. I will accompany you to find and destroy the weapon. Emperor has never been my ambition. Join us if you want. Just don't get in my way. I believe I think Abner never wanted to be Emperor. I think he's as of right now, I think he's just trying to help the people. Surprisingly clever, those ancient Khajiiti. An old tablet, oral histories disguised as fable. The cat can do it. Halls of Colossus. A few years ago, my deplorable sibling broke proto. Half sister. And take care of any outstanding business. Alright, now we're going to the Colossus. Halls of Colossus. Nice, this wagon here will take you to the wagon. Basically, where we're going is here's elsewhere. The new in the new area. It's a little strip of area right here in the bottom between Canalthus Roost and something elsewhere. That's where we're going. Okay, here we are at the Halls of Colossus right here. These ruins are not empty. Your friends have come this way. I can smell them. Euraxia's soldiers are not my friends, Cat. I will not allow them to seize the weapon. So you say. But will you really oppose your sister? Half-sister. And I oppose anyone who adds to the woes of the Empire. The drawings on the door should kind of give them away. Okay, there's two puzzles here in this in the Colossus, but we gotta fight through this ambush here first. Joan and Joan. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. Stay vigilant and look for a way inside. Abner Tharn of the Radstone, just as Queen Eurexia predicted. Queen? I see my demented half-sister is still full of herself. My queen sends her love and this poison to me before the gas takes you. Necromancer, deal with these skulls. Now you have to deal with a bunch of skeletons coming. Nothing, nothing too major. It's quite simple to overtake. Relish your victory while you can. We'll reach the weapon before you. Well done, Cat. I barely regret your presence now. We need to get that door open. Okay, you can talk to Kamira and Tharn before you open the door if you want. The soldiers were here long enough to turn. One ancient ruin is most assuredly many ancient Kaji. My half sister has that rumble when we entered. Look around. Some sort of. It appears I've stumbled into another one of my. Stop the process. Why in Oblivion's name would we want to do that? No. All right. So let's see this puzzle. There's always a way. Oh, here we are. Here's the the clue. The slivers of the moon and the dark sky combine to open the path to ascension. Okay. So the slivers of the moon and the dark sky. Slivers. I'm guessing half moons. That's to be obvious, right? I'm, I'm not, but maybe. So the half moons plus the dark moon. That should open the door. So let's see. What way did we come in here? We came in this way. So, go here, ignore this one. This here is a half moon, hit that one. So the second one. Where are the rest of them? Dark moon. And the other sliver, the other half moon. So basically, two, three, and four. Those are the ones you want to go with, go into and open. And the door is in the back here. Okay, one more puzzle left, and we're all done.
Okay, here is the last puzzle's two parts. We're going to the left side first. Alright, so we're going to the left here. And where is the thing for the glue? Right here. Joe's light shines upon those who make an effort to change their lives. It ignores those who are content to be full or resigned to be empty. Okay. Ask me. Very simple. Only the half moons. So only click half moons. So let's see. First one, no good. It's, it's dark moon. Second one, we click. Third one, we skip because it's the full. It's the you know full moon. And the last one, we hit. It's a half moon. You did it. And that you solves the left side. Me. So basically, the first one and the last one. Now we go to the right side. Jones, a closed eye emits no light. Only the slitted or open eye can see the path to knowledge. So if you ask me, it's very simple. The half moons and the full, the open, the the, the bright moon. Not the one that's eclipsed, basically. <laughs> so half moons and the open one. So to the first one, it's a half moon. Do not do the second one. Third one's a half moon. And the last one is the full moon. Now basically you can go kill Captain Casavius. This is when I realize Stop. what's happening. What now, Cat? Have you forgotten that we're in a hurry? This is Kunzari, I'm guessing here. The story of Kunzari and the demons. Those aren't demons. They're dragons. Jude's light. The dragons are the weapon. Euraxia wants to release dragons. Damn it all. I have no use for dragons. Come on, let's put a stop to this. All right, he's finally thinking sensibly. All right, take note of this image here and this person. Basically, it's somebody stabbing Kunzari in the back. All right. So that's going to be very important in the missions in elsewhere. I'm not going to say anything about that. Damn stupid doors! Why won't you open? Stop! You will not release those beasts. I'll mess you up, Captain. Queen Eurexia wants no spiders. One way or another. Too late, old wizard. Stand back. I'll use the wrath stone to restore the sea. This is first person, that's pretty good here. Seal! Stab you! Seal! I think... I think that did it. Oh! Oh, now what? Hell no. Brothers, we are free! Get down! Wow. I was trying to stop that from happening. The blame falls squarely on Captain Calcevius, I'm quite certain. He was working for your sister. Half sister. But let's finish this back at my camp. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Everything got after he said they would. She's still mad at Abner Thorn was, you know, it wasn't his fault. I really think he was trying to do right. That could have turned out better. Mm -hmm. I should say so. Right at this exact moment? About that. In time, for now, help the Khajiiti prepare for the dragon invasion. And take this as recompense for your service. In the meantime, I have plans to formulate and arrangements to make. When the moment to deal with the dragons comes, I will contact you. Fair enough. Alright, so you get that. A little bit of gold. And you also get a memento here. Let's assign this so we can see it. Okay. I mean it's a little it's a little more impressive than the last ones they've been having. The last ones have been these little cheesy like little whirlwind things. Something is in a, uh, a small flock of dragons is pretty impressive. 
Okay. Not bad. Not bad. But if you ask me, those puzzles are the hardest part of this mission. It's a lot easier than like the missing profits and some of the other ones where you're on a, you know, worldwide search for these things. And having the Tharn making the portals for you makes this mission a lot easier too. Uh, and uh, since all we had to worry about was then the puzzles, which hopefully I've made easier for you if you have trouble with them. Now you can be able to go through them and get them done faster. Uh, elsewhere in general, I, I played the elsewhere and just finished it a little while ago. It's not bad. There's some there's some storyline things I'm a little let down with. The Khajiits belong to the Dominion, and right now their homeland's being ravaged by dragons. You would think the Queen would send some kind of help, like even the smallest little bit of like you know at least advisor or something to help out. Like, nothing. You don't hear from the Queen at all. Even the main is missing. You know, it's a bit, the Imperials, basically. It's you and the Imperials are taking care of this problem for them, which I feel is kind of, a, you know, bad for the, the Elves not to be helping their allies. But um, that's the only problem I have with it, honestly. The rest of the story is pretty good. Uh, the only thing is the canyons. I mean, navigating elsewhere can be a little bit of a hectic first starting out. The canyons make it very hard to get some of the missions. But besides that... It's a good storyline, and I'm really waiting to look forward to the next two parts to come out. Uh, hopefully, they'll be even better. But um, that's it. I hope this uh, helped a lot, and I hope it gets you through it so you can get this part done. And uh, enjoy the rest of the, uh, the, the storyline. That's all for me today. I am King AKJK from Endgame We Trust, and I take my leave. Until next time... Game on. Take care.